Hello, Gemini. Welcome to a How They Feel About You love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or about this connection and what are their true intentions towards you. Um, keep in mind that these readings are general Gemini, so they will not resonate with every Gemini watching. What messages, guidance do you have for Gemini? regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Gemini? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Gemini? Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Six of Coin Reverse. Bottom of the deck, the High Priestess reverse. Oh, and there's the moon. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> Pisces energy with the moon here. Seven of Cups, choices, th um, options. This could be somebody that is unable to make a decision because they're not really sure about what cup to choose. Not every cup is created equal. Some are better than others. So this is more of a... Um, it could be somebody that's unsure, confused about what to do when it comes to you or this connection. It could be that they are daydreaming about you. Um, we'll see when we clarify. Six of Cups. This could be somebody from the past, uh, a soulmate, someone that has a very sweet connection with you. Um, good memories, good times, thinking about the good old days. Um, but the Six of Coin Reverse tells me there's an imbalance here. Something is a little bit off. Um, one person gave more than the other, for example, or something is not completely balanced out when it comes to you and, and this person. So let's see if we can get a little bit more insight before we clarify. Now, the High Priestess reverse at the bottom of the deck. This is someone that is expressing something that was hidden. It could be a reveal of some sort, a revelation of some sort, which makes sense. The moon is right behind that. So I feel like someone maybe has not expressed their feelings or a reveal might be coming. Um, so we'll see what we get here. What else we need to know about this person's energies towards Gemini? Mirrored souls. Okay, this is definitely like a soulmate type of connection. What else do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings towards Gemini? Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could have fire in their chart, but this could also be someone who is feeling motivated, passionate, fired up, willing to take action. Difficult decision. Yeah, the bottom of the deck, patiently waiting. It would not be a Gemini reading without this crap. <laughs> I mean, it's just the truth. I think that they have been waiting to make a decision. They've been waiting to pull the trigger here. Um, and I think it's honestly because they don't know what to do with the Seven of Cups. Let's see what we get here. Let me bring these down. And we'll get a little bit of clarity. guidance please for Gemini what do we need to know about these energies tell me about the seven of cups the Emperor Aries energy tell me about the seven of cups yeah what to do what to do the world this choice is tied to either an ending or a new beginning with the world and then the Hierophant, Taurus, Energy with Judgment at the bottom of the deck. Holy crap. Um, all major arcana showed up here. I think it's a major decision. This isn't a little decision. This is a major decision, Gemini. I think that's why they're taking their time. I think it would be a complete change in their life. I feel like this is a judgment call. Yeah, and the Four of Cups. It's almost like they... They could be focused on the wrong thing or not really open to pulling the trigger like this without really thinking about it. Um, but I also feel like if they wait too long, they're going to miss out. It won't work the way that they hoped. 
Some of you are dealing with someone who might be in a commitment and that commitment would have to end with the Hierophant in the world. But for others of you, I'm getting with the Hierophant more like this new cycle would require commitment, would, requ would require um, someone going about things in a traditional sense with you. You know, not playing games here. What's this? Three of Swords and the Four of Wands. Okay. This is making a little bit more sense. Okay, let's let's continue. Why is the Six of Cups here for Gemini? Why is the Six of Cups here? Six of Wands. Okay, six. Powerful number. It's a number about harmony, cooperation. That's why the Six of Coin is reversed over here is so important. The Knight of Wands. Yeah. I think this person dreams of success with you. There's the Wheel of Fortune. Another Gemini, like bingo card um i think this person hopes they could have a turnaround here because the the soulmate connection is just so strong the connection between you tell me about the six of coin reverse why is the six of coin reverse knight of pentacles these are all great energies gemini why is the six of coin reverse queen of swords there you are in the death card scorpio energy Eight of Pentacles at the bottom. Yeah, I think they would need to really work on um, a change, a transformation, an ending of some sort if they really want to bring you an offer here. They're aware of it. This is someone that already is aware of this. Tell me more about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies. Towards Gemini, tell me more about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Gemini or this connection. I don't have the courage, I'm taking a risk. Bottom of the deck, I screwed up. I think this person, yeah, I think this person, this Knight of Wands, um, Emperor energy, fire sign energy that we see here. Um, it's going to require them, this difficult decision is a risk. What else do we need to know about this person? What else? You have taught me so much. What else do we need to know about this person that Gemini is? What are their energies, thoughts towards Gemini? I am dealing with a difficult situation. Okay. That could be this, um, the Four of Wands and the Three of Swords that came out earlier. They might be having difficulty somewhere, a difficult situation outside of you. <clears throat> so let's look at their intentions towards you. What are their intentions towards Gemini? <clears throat> what are their intentions? Next actions towards Gemini. What are their intentions or next actions towards Gemini? Let's make a little room. What are their intentions or next actions towards Gemini? Nine of coin reverse, five of swords. I think that's the conflict devil reverse, yeah. Capricorn energy here, eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> I think they would love to be, this is the difficult situation. Nine of coin reverse, five of swords, devil reverse. This is literally overcoming or removing themselves from a difficult situation with the devil reverse, the nine of coin reverse, and the five of swords. I think right now when they think about you and their intentions towards you, this takes precedent. They have to address this. They have to address this. Death the world you, you, you need to do both at the same time here <laughs> yeah knight of coin again they have um, lofty goals um, and also they want to do things right with you Gemini with the knight of coin the harfon that came up tell me about these energies 
I don't see them really making any actions towards you other than that eight of wands at the bottom of the deck that could be communication towards you, a message that they send. We'll see. Tell me about this nine of coin reverse, five of swords, and devil reverse energy. The sun. Tell me about the nine of coin reverse, five of swords. Double reverse energy, three of cups. Yeah, I feel like this is some other situation outside of you. Yeah, five of coin, nine of swords. They're very worried about this. It's a difficult situation for them. So I'm speaking to a Gemini that has a person who is interested in them, but has issues outside of them. So yeah, and this person knows they have to make a choice. There's the two of wands and seven of cups again. They need to choose to do something about this. I think they will. What else do we need to know about this person's next actions towards Gemini? I think they will address this. Yeah, the High Priest is reverse and the Nine of Wands reverse. With, ooh, the King of Cups is reverse, Ten of Swords reverse, the Emperor. Oh, yikes, Ten of, okay. So I'm not gonna lie to you, Gemini. This person's gonna have a rough time a very rough time. This could also be something that happens before this person meets you. I do see that as a possibility, you know. They may meet you as soon as they're out of this whole situation. I think they're gonna talk to you about what happened. Yeah, Ace of Wands reverse. This isn't gonna happen until they like, basically your connection, as strong as it is, will not take off unless this is addressed. I also think with the with the sun here and the five of pentacles, I almost get the sense that something's gonna be done out in the open or something will happen out in the open. Like people can see it. I think this is gonna take out um, a lot of strength for your person. But I also feel like this is gonna be very public. I don't know why I'm getting that, but something's happening here that's very public. <clears throat> Tell me about this High Priestess Reverse. Why is the High Priestess Reverse? Yeah, Ten of Wands. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse. Five of Swords again. Five of Cups. Yeah, this is a difficult situation. But on the outside of this, or on the other side, is the Ace of Cups. You know, in the midst of all this BS. Five of Wands, Three of Wands, and then the Ace of Cups. So this is very interesting, Gemini. You could be dealing with someone with a third party right now, or someone that's coming in after they deal with all this. But it's going to take a lot out of them. It's not going to be easy for them. And that's why it's such a difficult decision. I keep getting this message for Geminis. I keep getting this message for you guys. It's like a constant message for Geminis. I mean, I can't, I have no control over the message. <laughs> you know, I use different decks, I cleanse my decks, I ask different questions, and it still ends up the same message. What do we need to know? Main mail. What do we need to know? For Gemini, what do we need to know about this connection for Gemini? Lovers, yeah. Ooh, wealthy man at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is a masculine energy that has a strong, you have a strong connection with. Um, I, don't, I think this is a soulmate, potential for a soulmate for sure. A potential soulmate that once they're out of a difficult situation, it's like a whole new beginning, a whole new start. But they have to have the courage to do this. And right now it's like, it's like they go back and forth. I don't have the courage and I'm taking a risk. Well, which is it? <laughs> Which is it? Now this, you have taught me so much energy, tells me that most of you have a history with this person because the Six of Cups showed up. So I feel like they already learned from your connection or your connection taught them something. But this could also be that they've learned from this difficult situation, right? And there's still someone new coming in. I still see that as a possibility. I would not discount it. So that's what I have for you, Gemini, for this bonus reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated for you. Leave a comment down below if it did. I love hearing from you guys. Like the video if you enjoyed the reading and subscribe if you want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.